So how's the pew? Hi everybody. <laughs> Roshan's just good, arrived. Good morning everyone. <laughs> how are you? Good. Just gonna go live on the radio now here as well. So you want to find your headphones there, Roshan. So we can see her face as well. <laughs> here we are now. We'll jump in. Now, I the Lord of Seeing Sky, a beautiful piece. Um, I think it's Daniel O'Donnell, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, his distinctive dulcet tones, sweet tones there. So, good morning. Welcome to Radio Maria Ireland on the radio here. Welcome to everybody on Facebook Live and Vimeo too. And we'll no doubt, post this up on uh, YouTube a bit later as well. It's great to have your company. So, there you are on the, on the telly. <gasps> With a little little gadget in front of us here, the phone. You can see yourself it's nice wide. Hello. Well. It's, there. Well, it's like saying hello to myself. So Roisin is with me as well. Good morning, Roisin. Good morning, Father. Good morning, everyone. Really great to have you here now as well. And thanks for coming again. Drop a comment. Uh, drop a like. Uh, do share all that stuff on social media. You know what you have to do. It's actually very helpful uh, indeed to... Uh, all these likes and, and follows and so on because it just boosts our presence uh, on the internet and we climb up the uh, the algorithm. Uh, I studied algorithms in back in my engineering days. You'd have to and explain that, Father. Well, I, if you asked me to do the exam now, I would have an absolute notion. But it's just a mathematical uh, expression by way of uh, they, they take some of the statistics, say, of hits and likes and, and follows and, and that and you, you're merged in with an equation and you might have there are various variables in it it might be what genre you are or what age group you're seeking to reach mm -hmm. or you know what it is you're talking about and they have ways of factoring all those into a, a complicated mm -hmm. mathematical formula <laughs> and the more popular you are if it was say music videos they get some of them get billions of views you know right. uh, the really super duper popular ones out of a billion views daft really when you think of the numbers <laughs> But just pop, it's a popularity thing, I suppose, really. Yeah. So a like and a shake, a share and a follow and a subscribe and all these things just give us a stronger presence in the yeah. machinery. Yeah. <laughs> um, so whatever works. I suppose <laughs> you share is, is the thing. Yeah. So great to have you with us and thanks uh, thanks for that. And just a big shout out because, um, you know, Roshan, we got our 1,000 subscribers yes, uh, during the week for YouTube. Absolutely mm? fantastic. Uh, wow. And that's a mass of... <laughs> uh, breakthrough and all in a day so we're very grateful to everybody who was texting and just passing the word around um, William is, is uh, trying to get to the bottom of um, just configuring it so that we can uh, capitalise on that gain uh, for the minute we're, we're just posting up the, the videos anyway on, on YouTube and just consolidating our, our presence there and in time we'll branch into the other areas the other social media channel, channels too it's another way of doing it. We're already on air, I suppose, with the microphone. We have been for the last five years, <clears throat> and I've been here the last three and a half. So um, you're here longer than that. Are you here since the beginning, Roshan, actually? More or less, yes, oh, rather, okay. yes, yes. Wow. Okay. I suppose through Mary Fitzpatrick, maybe, Yes, well, Mary was the neighbour of mine, you know. Mm. So that's how I've, I learned about it, you know. So. Mm -hmm. Very good. Very good. And you've yeah, latched on and, and you haven't gone away since. Father Mike was wonderful, yeah, you know. Sure. He was Michael always was so joyful, you know. Mm -hmm. Full of the spirit. Uh, yes. Amazing man, really. Um, anyway, thanks to God, we're keeping it going. And there'll oh, be people you. after us, we hope yeah. to. So, yes. With God's help. So a lovely piece of scripture just to reflect on a little bit, uh, Roisin, uh, the letter to the Hebrews. Right. If you remember the opening line, no, that no. the word of God is alive and active. active. Yes. It cuts more finely than... Father Any <laughs> double edged no, sword. sword, correct. <laughs> and where does it penetrate between? Oh, we're talking about. you were talking about that in the gospel mm. in, in this homily this the, morning, yes, Father. You know, in, in the reading, in between everything. <laughs> the, yes, the, the, the soul and the spirit. Yeah, in between everything is a good way to understand. <laughs> And like between the soul and the spirit, you say, with the gap there to fit anything in kind of thing. But I was just recommending, and maybe it's something you might like to share with us. We'd love to hear from you. If, if like that, you have experienced the power of God's word by way of enlightenment, by way of direction, by way of healing, or something, in other words, beyond the printed word on a page, you know. So we have our, our, our contact details here, you know, on, on a page. And it's just ink on, on a page and you, you can read them out and I'll get Roshi to read them out actually too. <laughs> but it's just, it's, it has, it doesn't have a power, really. It doesn't, it, it, 
this don't want to inspire me it's just the name and address and the phone numbers for radio maria <laughs> and that's a, that's okay that's fine mm. but god's word oh, the gospel inspires you mm. it, 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 does, yeah. it, has, it has tremendous potency there's a lady trying to ring us there if you're listening as well on the mobile phone uh, we can't uh, answer for calls on the mobile phone uh, so don't ring us on the mobile give us a call on the landline zero one four one two three four five six instead and uh, brendan is there to answer the phone zero one four one two three four five six is the one to ring but god's word <coughs> has has a potency and i was just putting it out there rushing and i'm going to challenge you <coughs> again like i like to do well, i think i go home now <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you'll be able to answer this one just like i've put it as i was preaching and i put it to you now if you're watching or listening is there a line of scripture or a passage of scripture that you have found let's say empowering in some way either for yourself oh, yeah. or for a situation or for others have you seen that fulfilled that the word of god is alive and active oh gosh i have to see it every day father because mm. I'm, uh, if something is on my mind or that and i ask the lord to help him and sometimes you just get inspiration you know to mm -hmm. what to do you know mm -hmm. and that it, you know well it was quite a long number of years now but uh he, god has been with me so long because of uh, my husband died so young and mm -hmm. the four young children and now they're all reared and that you know so sure, sure. so it was true all a whole lifetime that you knew god was there with you of you faith, know yeah, of faith. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and and what what i'm i'm coming around to is an actual piece of scripture oh, either a story yes. or a line or an expression oh gosh you'd have to think that, about that now father yeah, yeah. 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 So it was, um, Mm -hmm. you know, that he's there for everybody and you know and, and everybody then of course father would take different meanings out of it you know absolutely that's, and and that's part that's yes. exactly what what i'm coming at too because yes. when it says alive and active yes it's something that is is specific say to each one of us and like yes. the sun is shining all the time but everybody gets a piece of it <laughs> and everybody's enlivened by the heat and the light the scripture is the same that uh a little line of scripture like today um it's not the healthy of need the doctor but the sick that's right yes what yes. does that mean it will mean something different to you than to me that's it indeed and, and to our, our yes. viewers our listeners too and he's here for the sinner correct no, no, no you're yes. getting it no you're getting it <laughs> that i haven't come to call the virtuous yes. you, know, you people are fine <laughs> go do what you need to do i'm here to call sinners yes. and, and it's very consoling mm because that's me and if we're all honest it's it's you know every one of us yes uh, and that's why he came so th this is what i'm kind of coming at really Roshan, that, that the the sacred scripture is inspired it, it has a power above and beyond just the printed word yeah. or the book or the page it speaks to the heart it, it speaks does. to the soul yes. and it, it gives direction it gives counsel it gives peace some of it is quite mysterious too. I mean, how do you how do you explain when, the, for instance, the Lord says, "Anyone who eats my flesh and drinks my blood will have eternal life." And I raise him up on the last day. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, ask me to explain that one, and I'm <laughs> like, well, well, it's communion, really, Father. I always put it down as the communion, isn't it? Mm -hmm, absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. But uh, like, how do we know? <laughs> you know, or or is 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 that crazy? Yeah. See again, if sacred scripture is alive and active, if it if Jesus is who He says He is, and if His word is truth, yes, then okay, I don't have to solve it. I'm no, not God. but He did it at the Last Supper. He said, Correct. you know, He told everybody what He was doing. You know. Correct. So, I believe in Father. <laughs> the ex that's precisely the point. Precisely, that it's it's faith. Yes. Faith helps us to understand the the living Word of God. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and like I always say too, you know, the, the again, the Bible is, is one element of the three elements of faith, scripture, magisterium, tradition, but that the, it doesn't stop, in other words, with the Bible, yeah. that the living word of God is actually a person. Yes. Oh, yeah. Jesus. That, yeah. That the word was made flesh. Yeah, and so us, yes. scripture, you know, brings Christ to life, you might yes. say, before us. And he simply asks the question, do you believe this? He asked that to um, Martha. Yes. Uh, Lazarus had died, if you remember, and he was four days yes. getting back. And she said, look, the, you know, 
if four you, days dead the body's going to smell and like what you, yeah what can you, you know? do he says i am the resurrection and the life do you believe this yes yeah. and and you you have to answer i have to answer yes. do you believe this yes and she said well yes lord i believe you are the resurrection and the life and you know, i believe and so the her faith then was was fulfilled came to life as it were yeah. the word of god alive and active and lazarus rose up comes back from the dead he did and that was the funny thing i find well that the jews after wanted to kill lazarus because yes. you know he's given yeah. a bad press like everyone's going to jesus right? everybody would be believing in jesus rather than their behavior Cor <laughs> correct correct and I'm thinking to myself, hang on a second, why would you kill him? If, if the Lord raised him to life, what's the point in trying to kill him? If he can be raised <laughs> back to life again, why would you bother? Um, but again, the, the word of God is alive and active. And my point really earlier too was that put it to the test, put it yes. into practice or see it yes. active in your life. See it as something that is living in you yes. and in faith in yes. faith um, so it's not a scientific discovery it's not again like any other book that you learn from and you know you get knowledge from and, and that's it. It, it 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 becomes a way of life yes. a way of living and it comes from god father rather than you're writing a book it's coming from you <laughs> but if it's, it's what he's saying it's coming from correct yes. jesus very, very good you know? yeah. from the holy spirit mm -hmm. So it's one of the teachings of the church that the Bible is, um, they, they speak of the canonicity of the sacred scripture, the inerrancy of sacred scripture, that there's no error. Gosh. Canonicity meaning you know, the, the books are the books, you can't add or subtract from them. Gosh. And then the inspiration of sacred scripture, that it is in inspired. Um, and you, you can't remove any of those. It, it, this is the authority of the church speaking in relation to sacred scripture. And that, excuse me, to sort of deny or to obfuscate any of those is to rob the church of her authority and to rob sacred scripture too of its its authenticity and its its divine efficacy. So if it's inspired, all, all sacred scripture is inspired, that say, it says that in scripture too. And if it's alive and active, you know, then, then handled with care. You know, <laughs> just yeah. put your trust in God, Father. Mm -hmm. You know, I know it's hard at times. You know, you think He's not listening to me. Mm -hmm. Sure, <laughs> but but like people do, they open up sacred scripture randomly. Yes, yes. And how many people have said that? Uh, maybe, maybe you've tried this too. Mm. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> if you open it up, and you find a random piece, you think, "Wow, that was meant for me right yes. there." You know? <laughs> the uh, answer. Which is why I'm an advocate really of the daily Holy Mass because we get yeah. such a rich serving, like like on a plate. <coughs> Mother Church knows. Here's the proportion you need for today, yes, and, and yeah. you you know you eat that, uh, as it were. <laughs> Take that in. Body and soul getting fed, Father. Correct, <laughs> and, and it, it nurtures you again. Daily bread, daily yeah. bread, along with the Holy Eucharist. <coughs> Excuse me. So that's the, that's the pattern then that the church gives to us again as a mother, nurturing and nourishing. It doesn't give us too much that we get bloated, but enough to, to nurture us and nourish us. So put, put that to the test and let us know. Let us know how you do. Yes. Or tell us your story, how sacred scripture has touched you or moved you or inspired you or guided mm -hmm. or directed you. Or just being there at a time when you, know, you needed some little bit of inspiration. Yes. Mm -hmm. And the Psalms are, are full of that too, because the Psalmist, the various authors of the Psalms, are singing God's praises at one moment, they're singing God's thanksgiving at another, they're lamenting at another time, and they're giving out to, to the Lord uh, another time, <laughs> and, and they're echoing the ebb and flow of our moods and our, our, mm -hmm. our, our troubles and strife. And, and they're truly inspired because they were sung, I suppose, or composed for singing too. But they form the ebb and flow of the liturgy. So anytime we have the Liturgy of the Hours, we're praying the Psalms and we're echoing the very prayers and Psalms uh, that Jesus himself would have prayed. 
uh, in honor of God the Father. Yeah. <clears throat> and again, they are inspired. And we see then, if we're careful to spot it, the psalmist very often is is the, the person that they're describing is Jesus. Yes. You know how Psalm 21, my God, my God, why have, have you, you forsaken, forsaken me? me? Yes. That's, we have that on Friday sometimes. They, that's Christ <coughs> speaking right there yeah. uh, and echoing cause yes. it, as if he was the one who wrote it. Yes. But he wasn't. No. It was the Spirit inspired him. Yes. But there's the Lord. So again, it, it's. Well, it's he was in the. Remember, he was in the garden, Father, before the crucifixion, mm. and mm. he really was. Correct. That was, that was the. Upset. Correct. <laughs> that was the sound we prayed. And, and yes. not my will, but. Your will be done. Will yes. Be done. Mm. Uh, and in, in that psalm, I think they have pierced his hands and feet. They have numbered all my bones, mm -hmm. I think. Yeah. There's echoes of that in there. And it's, they cast lots for my robe. Yes. All these things are, are there in sacred scripture, foretelling the suffering servant, as, as Jesus is known in the Old Testament, in Isaiah especially. But all fulfilled in the person of Christ. Again, just affirming for us that the word of God is alive and active. And it's something true. It's something living. And the, this, the words of the psalmist apply to us too. Oh, yes. So at one moment we're giving praise and thanksgiving to God. Another moment we're rejoicing in his creation. Um, the heavens and the earth are filled with your glory, giving glory to God and thanksgiving. And then another moment we're, we are the, the one who is suffering and crying out to God mm. and pleading with God and lamenting and saying that our foes have surrounded us mm. and we can't cope. It's that's our own story in there. Yeah, it is yeah. indeed. So it's it's th this is the power of God's word and sacred scripture, and I've been simply encouraging, you know, right. if if you doubt that, <laughs> put it put it to the test. Take it up yeah. and read it. Mm, correct. Get such pleasure out of it and such comfort. Mm, mm. And like that, you know, if that's an intimidating thing to do, to take the Bible down and suddenly start, well. It started with, with daily holy mass and, and oh, yes. just engage with yes. that much yes. of sacred scripture. Yes. And before too long, you'll, you'll realize in, in the space of a few years, you'll have most of the Bible well and truly covered. You won't have all of it read by any means or heard, but you'll certainly have a very strong mm -hmm. grasp of the content of sacred scripture. Now, Roisin, why not share with us there? They, they, we'd, we'd love to have interaction. Let's check my phone as well. Oh, I do, yes. Please, everybody, get in touch. And you can text us at WhatsApp at 089 467 2000. Or you can email at info at radiomaria.ie. And I'm, I'm so, sorry, Father, we can't do it on that phone now, can we not? Um, you can, well, you can, yeah, you can. You can we you can, can do that one, yeah. It'll, it'll come through to us, yeah, right? All right. So email at info at radiomaria.ie or you can phone us on the house landline 014123456. Or then again, you can write a little letter to us at Radio Maria Ireland, Unit 8, St. Anthony's Business Park, Ballymount Road, Dublin 22. Very good. And we do love to hear from you. And uh, I don't throw a listing right now with some dear friends of mine in London, uh, Epi and Mark Blackwell. Oh, lovely great. Catholic family. I met them in Parker Little Catholic Circle years ago. I was a lodger in their house oh, in London. Lovely. In a place called Lewisham. Might be known to some people. In South East London. Oh. Uh, I mean, near Peckham. <laughs> Peckham is a place where um, Del, Del Boy, you know, the old oh, yeah. houses, you know, you know, have the, the borough next to it. <coughs> so I lived in Lewisham for a while. <coughs> Excuse me, with Mark and Epi. So if you're listening, a big shout out. I'd love to hear from you. A nice message from them. And they're getting on in years now. And uh, Mark isn't so well. But Mark was um, a consultant psychiatrist in oh. London. In quite a catchment area. Wonderful. Fascinating man to hear him speaking of his, his work and his profession. And uh, he very kindly wrote a, a, a psychiatric reference for me. Oh, that would be wonderful. When I was going to the seminar. <laughs> yeah, he's all right. He backed so you up, Father. You, you he? Maybe he <laughs> might work out for you. Come back to me if, it, if he makes a mess of it. <laughs> but a lovely uh, couple and a lovely family. And um, I, I so only barely oh, touched them. Fantastic. But it's nice, nice to hear from him there. Uh, so do please do get in touch by all those means. Uh, let me just have another dip in here. See if we got uh, any emails there of note. No, we'll hold back on that. Just one, two other emails there. So thanks for that. Uh, do do get in touch. We might pause for a little piece of music. I think um, 
Tara has something lined up here. Um, <laughs> Promises by Maverick City Music. Never heard of it. I, I trust in, in Tara's good taste. She's a wonderful singer. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll be back to you very shortly after this little music break. Fine, <coughs> have a good cough. No, everybody's still watching. <coughs> have your drink, Clear Father. The troll, well, yeah. sounds like 10 minutes long, so just give me a thumbs mm. up whenever you want to go. <laughs> sure. That's great. Yeah, you're practically probably right, Roaching. Um, if I, I'm afraid to disturb this video now in case I, I lose everybody going through texts and stuff there. <laughs> um, anyway, we'll, we'll, oops, we'll catch up with it again. There'll be no fear. <coughs> <coughs> now, let's check out. Text for you there, Roshin. Thanks, okay. Carol. Yeah, you you're famous now <coughs> on telly. go one of those epic uh, christian worship songs i presume yes that goes on and on in the congregation of the crowd that are there join in promises by uh, maverick city music so very good thanks for that tara uh, thanks carmel who's in touch she's uh, very impressed with your television presence there roshin <laughs> thank you so, carmel <laughs> you should have a show of your own not really as a kind of a host of uh, what's that show it used to be on in the afternoon um bunny car and some of these people <laughs> Live at three, was that the one? Yeah, live at three. <laughs> or one of those. 
Um, and thanks to everybody watching on Facebook there. Uh, Ember Ellen has been greeting us there today as well through the GSG. And I'm not sure what language that is there. Uh, in Limba Romana. Um, no, it looks like Latin. Uh, not so sure. Uh, anyway, and Antoinette mm -hmm. as well is in touch too. So, Antoinette Walton. Would she be known to you? That's my sister. <laughs> oh, there you are. I thought a sneaky feeling. <laughs> Hello, Antoinette. Thanks, Antoinette. There you are. You have a fan on Facebook there. Big shout out there. Sure. Well done. Named after St. Anthony, of course. That's so right. We've heard the story, Antoinette. Uh, she she doesn't give too much away, but we heard some of the story. Oh, yes. Well, <laughs> well I tell it again, Father. <laughs> don't, don't embarrass poor Antoinette now. We'll find a day when she might be listening in. <laughs> oh, no, no, it's not just because she was called after St. Anthony. Yes. Yes, you know, St. bread. You mentioned that because you know. St. Anthony left me here. <laughs> mm. well, thanks, big God, lovely. So I'm just going to uh, finish off the program there for the last for a good little while. Um, just dipping in again to God amid space, and I'm just holding all the pages here in my fingers. Um, I, I'm, I was mentioning a little bit earlier too. This is the church in the modern world, and how we face into some of the modern challenges of our day. And so it's a long, long document, but we've made good progress through it. And then just the various chapters that are left uh, to us, I see the church is just zooming in on some of the issues of the day. So uh, there's three or four chapters there. Economic and social life is an obvious one that they'd have to sit down and say, well, where does the gospel fit in or what does the church have to say to these things? Uh, another chapter is on the political community. Again, because we're citizens of the state, we obviously have a role to play in the, in the, the polis means a city. That's where the word political comes from. So as citizens of the polis, then uh, we have a right to, you know, um, rights and responsibilities to, to live up to. And so we need a, a political structure. Uh, fostering of peace and establishing of a community of nations is a very good chapter. That speaks volumes to us today, for sure. And I think one of the subsections uh, in, in these uh, fostering peace is the arms race, uh, which goes back in the 60s, yeah. uh, if you remember mm. all that, uh, Roisin. I do indeed. It's not before your time or anything. Was, uh, I, I was around <laughs> back then too, but I was only in, in short trousers, probably <laughs> to the nappies for part of that too. Um, but Providence urgently, it says here, demands of us that we free ourselves from the age-old slavery of war. Mm -hmm. See, the 60s, of course, would have been not long after the Second World War yeah. and, and yeah. all the horror uh, of all of that. And then the threat of nuclear holocaust yes. in the 60s yes. and 70s there. So um, the, the church is speaking there, international action to prevent war. So we'll come to that maybe in touch on it too. Um, and then there's just final conclusion, the, the role of individual Christians, where do, where do we fit into that whole uh, scene and how do we bring God's plan to fulfillment in the end. Mm -hmm. So like I said, the, the document is trying to zoom in on specific issues, but again, the word of God is alive and active to bring the power of God's word in, in the scripture, but in the person of Christ, the light of the gospel to bear on the, these yes. modern problems and like i was saying it's very prophetic it's it speaks to us today as much as it does very much so father any other time mm. so i want to touch in on this one of the chapters here it's about culture now cultural identity is very important and we, we it's very interesting the way with migration and emigration uh, it's probably all slowed down considerably now with the virus and so yes. on but we see a, a mixing of cultures now that we had never seen 50 years, certainly here in Ireland. Yes, quite um, a lot of immigrants coming in, yes. An enormous number of, of Different, uh, foreign nationalities. nationalities. It's, yeah. It was wonderful the, though. Uh, so <laughs> lots of colour and lots of variety and we, we have um, rolls and shells of all kinds of different food that we'd never have had <laughs> here before. Um, uh, for all kinds of spicy tastes and, and not. <laughs> yeah, things you've never even heard of. <laughs> yeah, I would, have, would have, I would have brought up and it would have been spuds and cabbage and Oh, that's where we were anyway, Father. <laughs> Antoinette would agree with me. <laughs> <laughs> was it, uh, when you were growing up, was there anything like spaghetti or... or oh, um, no. We were um, pasta? No, no. <laughs> Mammy was a great cook. When we, we had lots of lovely bacon and, and steak and... Uh, 
Mm. Spuds and uh, cabbage. And <laughs> so did you ever have rice growing up? Oh, yeah, we had rice. We was, rice? used to as, have, yeah. That's part yeah. of the main course now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, really? No, that oh, was okay. dessert. <laughs> oh, do, oh, yeah. It, it was dessert always. Mine. <laughs> Semolina or, or rice. Yeah, yeah. It was lovely. But yeah. we we seldom have rice as part of the, the dinner, let's say. No, no, like, a, a, yeah. Curries oh, and things yeah, now, say, yes. Oh, yeah. Would you, would you have curries? No, time? not then, no. <laughs> <laughs> and we would now. We wouldn't have any bother with it now, No, well, uh, well, it's a long time now since I've done it, but I used to do it when the children were at home, oh, you know. Okay, nice, nice. <laughs> But it, I, I use that as my little litmus test to say culture has changed yes. dramatically and in many ways. Yeah. Well, that's a good uh, thing too, Father, you know. It's, it's has brought us, it given us a wider sense of yeah. the, the world community. And acceptance. And, mm, mm. So just to share a little bit of what the document tells us, it's, it's one of the properties of the human person that he can achieve, achieve true and full humanity only by means of culture. That is through the cultivation of the goods and values of nature. Whenever, therefore, there is a question of human life, nature and culture are intimately linked together. And so our cultural identity, like the milieu in which we're brought up, identifies and defines us and shapes us really into, into who we are as citizens of our land and our people. Um, and it's, it's a good thing. And all these different cultures are lovely. That's why people travel the world to get a taste of you know, all these wonderful mm -hmm. uh, variety of... And I presume if the world was a bigger place, there'd be a lot more cultures and language too, you mm -hmm. know. So the word culture in the general sense refers to all those things which go to the refining and developing of the human person's diverse mental and physical endowments. He strives to subdue the earth by his knowledge and his labour. He humanises social life both in the family and in the whole civic community through the improvement of customs and institutions. He expresses through his works the great spiritual experiences and aspirations of men throughout the ages. He communicates and preserves them to be an inspiration for the progress of many, even of all mankind. So it's interesting, I suppose our religious traditions would have a profound impact on yes, us too, yes. in their own way. And, and animate us because certainly we here in Ireland back in the day too I'm sure Roisin, mm. you know, there probably wasn't a family in Ireland that didn't have a missionary didn't have yes. Um, oh yes some, some involved connections in of priests yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. so we had two uncles father two we? Uncle, right? yeah. <laughs> yeah my, my mum was always very proud of the fact that we had some cousins who were priests but we never met them right and knew who they oh, actually no. knew their names they were stationed in the UK I think somewhere yeah and I've no, I, I, I've never looked at the family tree to say exactly where they fit in, but uh, that, uh, like, like that there no. wasn't a family in Ireland, I'd say. That well, we had a lovely Capuchin father, Father Bruno McKnight, and mm. then she at one time was in Rainey, and we lived in Rainey, and mm -hmm. he used to come down to the house, and mm -hmm. it was wonderful. Mm. <laughs> Would he hear your confessions in that? No. <laughs> <laughs> not, that, not that he's in a family. I'd be telling him my sins. Oh, we were all only children then. <laughs> <laughs> Even so. <laughs> um, but it has a great effect uh, on the family, doesn't it, to know that there's a priest or religious. Oh, yes. You know, and then we had another father, um, uh, another McKnight, another man, and he's, uh, he's still over. He's over in England now. Mm, it's wonderful. Mm. So there you go. So... Does he know you're in, you're in Radio Maria? Is the thing? And, and like, no. Does he tell people, hey, I have a, I have a cousin, I have a relative here who's on a Catholic radio station? He, he was here, Father. He came in to remember. He was here. Yes, yes. I'm sure he's the, the, uh, the audio clip episode yeah. two or three years ago. Oh, it was, yes, yes, yeah. yeah. So, so he does know. And, yeah. and, and you, you roped him in. <laughs> so it goes on. Hence it follows that culture necessarily has historical and social overtones and the word culture often carries with it sociological and ethnological connotations. Ethnic meaning, you know, the um, your, your ethnic identity, I suppose your nationality and that. Um, in this sense, one can speak about a plurality of cultures. That means the plural is lots of them. For different styles of living and different scales of values originate in different ways of using things, of working and self-expression of practicing religion and of behavior of establishing laws and juridical institutions of developing science and the arts 
and of cultivating beauty. Japan kind of comes to mind straight away when I think of that. You know, we, 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 it's an extraordinary culture. There's, there's very uh, strong social courtesies. And one of them I, I came across interesting. It's, if you're presenting, if you're in a business meeting, the Japanese, and you're presenting your, your business card, you know, or if you're with a group and you're meeting an, you know, a client or whatever, you present the, the business cards one at a time, you know, of all the people okay. who are with you. And you'll start with the the person who's lowest in the in the company, right. and and there'll be a, there'll be exchange of cards and, and a bow, and then you go with the next and finish with the highest ranking. It's this kind of social etiquette, right. and part of the the cultural thing of respect yes. for authority and for the elderly and Wonderful. you know, it's fascinating. There's some of these videos uh, to kind of explain the culture, and it's kind of a, I suppose a tourist thing as much as anything else. But the the there's a lot of um, it seems to me you know, like sort of very high moral standards or sort of moral res- respect, respect, yeah, respect for others. Respect for everybody. Is, is, yeah, it's very important. Yes. You know, the kind of discipline there. And the work ethic is, is something else, of course, <laughs> in Japan. I mean, they're up there, I think, with Germany, with their, with their, their uh, GDP, their gross dom- domestic product that's financially, economically. That's p- part of the culture. German too, sure, the culture there is very industrious and, and very hard working and very disciplined this is the impression anyway but developing science the arts and cultivating beauty all of these things um i suppose our culture trad music now it's cool it's, crack, <laughs> it's, it's coming up and, and the, the crack is as much as <laughs> our culture would kind of bit relax about things we wouldn't be as far oh, it's, it's fantastic show <laughs> But it, it's just nice to see the variety of, of culture and, and to see, and of course this document will help us understand is, is the, the life of the spirit yes. that in, enlivens culture in that way and what an important thing it is. So thus the heritage of its institutions uh, forms the patrimony, the kind of fatherhood they're handed on, the property each human community. Mm-hmm. And thus too is it created a well-defined historical milieu which envelops the people of every nation and age from which they draw the values needed to foster humanity and civilization. Okay. So just a nice deep little introduction to it. But th- there are those, you know, like uh, you hear a voice in Ireland today, other countries too, who fear the idea of uh, immigration as somehow watering down culture or, you know, um, challenging culture and, and religion maybe too yeah. um, it might be challenging religion might be alright but to culture no father you know because God made us all and gave us all different gifts <laughs> mm-hmm. and to what end or what purpose and you're touching on the idea there like what purpose is culture aimed towards or what I mean if, if yeah. we kind of lost all our Irish identity in the morning yeah. and became a Muslim country or something oh no <laughs> I hope no, not I'm just throwing it out there but <laughs> It, it, it would change the way we understand oh, this. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. It would be. And so it's just interesting to see the progression then of, of um, visitors to our country, immigrants to our country. There's quite a number of Muslim schools in Ireland. And yes. There's a mosque up the road here in, in Dublin. Um, yeah. And they had a big and, uh, uh, thing on the Crow Park. They did. They did, you see. <laughs> and and that, that's part of our culture now. Yeah. Which we would never have conceived of before. No. It's, it's, and it's, it's, a, it's a challenge. It's a bit of a worry, Father. Well, this is the thing. Uh, mm. and, uh, if if <laughs> if we respect culture, and we we certainly respect all the people of other religions too, we, we mm. ought to and, and yeah. live together in harmony. Pope Francis was very strong on that. Uh, and then, what are the challenges if we are followers of Christ? Then, in relation to that, how does that affect? I that? think he wants us to unite everybody, Father. Amen. Amen. In, in him. Because yes. Because he is God. Because he is well, God. Who, yes. Who else would you turn to? There's a lot of different religions that come and off different paths. And sure. And then how do you do that without upsetting sort of cultural traditions and Oh, that's another question. <laughs> oh, there you are. I'll hand you that one to figure out for the next day. <laughs> so, I get the answer. <laughs> <laughs> with the Holy Spirit. But that's why it's very good. These documents are great just to open up that little conversation and to challenge our way of thinking. But always, always in the light of Christ, in the light of our faith, really. Oh, yes. um, and out of deep respect for one another is made in God's image and likeness. Our faith teaches us a, a lot in that regard. And God made us all, Father. 
Amen to that. And he wants us all to be happy with him in the next life, yes. ultimately, culture or no culture. Um, but very, very interesting. So thanks for your company today on Facebook Live and on Vimeo 2. We'll post this up to our YouTube channel as well for watching later too. And thanks for everybody on the radio. Uh, lovely to have you with us. Thanks to Tara at the Mixing Desk too. And thanks to Roisin for joining us on, yeah. the, on the telly. Uh, thanks for putting up with me, Father. <laughs> <laughs> thanks for being put up with. So <laughs> Very good. So we do like to hear from you as always. But we're going to pray now. Uh, it's 12 o'clock. We'll pause for our anxious spells and our midday prayer together. And very good. Thanks, everybody, on uh, social media. And we'll <laughs> see you next week. Please go for the next round. Uh, and we'll build this uh, social platform as time goes on. So I need to figure out how to, how to switch it off. <laughs>